There's a huge effort around the world to develop quantum computers, but these computers are not going to reach their full potential until they're networked, because today's computers, they didn't reach their full potential until we had the internet. When we started doing this, um, we really weren't expecting this to work as well as it did. So it's exciting. A versatile telecom quantum memory is one of the basic building blocks of a quantum network. What we've done is to develop a technique where we can use an erbium dope material as a quantum memory. Erbium is one of the rare earth elements. They're some of the heaviest elements on the periodic table and they're not actually that rare. You find them in a lot of objects around you like fluorescent lights or old TV sets. We intend to use this material for sending quantum information over really long distances. We had the idea to do this quite a few years ago. A lot of the feedback we got was it wouldn't work. Now that we've tried it, it actually worked a whole lot better than we thought it was going to. Coherence is an indication of how long you can hold onto or store a quantum state. Our platform has a coherence time of more than one second. This should allow us to send quantum information over more than a thousand kilometers, and we think that it's long enough to potentially send information around the entire globe. In addition to building quantum memories, we can now use these techniques to interface with silicon and superconducting qubits through the most promising types of quantum computers. Our technology has the advantage that our memories interface directly with the optical fibre in the network that's currently in use. Other approaches are a lot more complicated and so they've been hard to implement in the real world. Erbium is special because it's the only element that will absorb and emit light at the telecommunications wavelength. The great thing about this platform is that we can use it to make quantum light sources the other major component we need to make a long distance quantum network. I'm really excited about this result because it's going to allow us to build the basic building blocks for the quantum internet.